Watch this before getting the Bamboo Lab A1. Today I want to give my honest review on the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. By the way, my name's Chris and this is my 3D printing sanctuary. If you like 3D printing, you're going to love this channel. The first thing that stands out is just how easy the ecosystem of Bamboo Labs is to use. Everything works together seamlessly. The slicer, the mobile app, and the printer itself. I can honestly say that none of the other printers I've reviewed or owned are as easy to use. It's like Bamboo Lab is the Apple of cell phones. You know, when you open the AirPods, everything connects flawlessly. You never lose connectivity issues. Everything just works. For example, I was working on a 3D printer today and I was pushing the display and it just wasn't loading or it was like three seconds delayed. Something simple like that can just drive you bonkers when you're looking to 3D print. And if you're totally new to 3D printing, what I mean by the ecosystem is how well everything works together. I really want to drill home the idea to you guys of the Bamboo Lab ecosystem. So here's the app right here. It's called Bamboo Handy. And immediately I can get in here and I can start scrolling amazing 3D prints. Here is the trending section. So if I just click on here, the 3D print, and you can see there's a button down here. It says prepare to print. That just shows you how easy everything is. If I click this, I'm immediately jumping into all the settings. I click next and we're sending it to the printer already. And you're not going to get this amazing ecosystem with the other 3D printers on the market. Well, maybe Creality, but it's still not as good. I honestly believe this ecosystem to be such a huge variable, especially if you're a beginner or have children that want to be 3D printing things. And chances are that's the case. Not only that, but working with their slicer, Bamboo Studio is like the easiest slicer to use on the planet. And connecting it to your 3D printer, whether it's an A1 or an A1 mini, if it's a bamboo machine, the ecosystem just connects together so well. Next, I'd like to talk about print quality. They're smooth, smoother than anything else I've printed on. The layer lines are almost invisible. Details are extremely sharp. And I don't have to babysit the machine to make sure that it's doing its job. Whereas other machines, what I have to do is kind of babysit it, especially at the first couple layers to make sure it doesn't go south. With bamboo stuff, I'm just off to the races and just I'm gonna go do something else. For me, that's the difference between just another 3D printer in something that feels extremely professional and they just did their damn job. With the Bamboo Lab A1, you set it up, you send it prints, and it just prints over and over and the prints look amazing. Everything just worked. The setup was extremely easy as well. By the way, I have a super in-depth setup video if you need to be checking that out. I'll throw a link in the description. I think it's easy to say though that the setup process, you know, you might be printing something, actually 3D printing something, something like within 30 minutes of unboxing the video. Again, you don't need to rush, but it's super, super fast. So the next question is, who is this 3D printer for? Is it for the super advanced? Is it for the hobbyist? And the answer is, it's for everybody. I have a handful of friends that have print farms full of these printers because they're a pretty budget friendly and they're just a professional grade 3D printer. I would also consider this 3D printer the best beginner 3D printer if you're looking to print a little bit of a larger size thing. If not, just get the A1 Mini. It's almost the same machine except it's just a little smaller and cheaper. All right, so now let's talk about some of the downsides. All right, so the downsides of the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, what I don't like about the machine. And again, I got to talk about this because this is my honest review on this A1 machine. Number one, it's not an enclosed printer. So you kind of have to worry about things getting dusty. And also if you have animals like cats, a lot of them like to come up here and mess with the 3D printer. All in all, it's not cool because you can get dander on there from the cats itself and it just gets dusty you know when you get dust on the filament it doesn't print as well it's not as great that being said you can buy a budget cover they have like these little boxes think of it kind of like a little greenhouse it comes with a big zipper in front again i'll throw links in the description if that interests you at all but honestly guys that's it and i feel like that's extremely small i have like 
eight or nine 3D printers right now, and this machine is easily by far my favorite machine. I think it's worth also talking about the multicolor 3D printing. If you're a new beginner and you're like wondering if you need this, I'm gonna say this as simple as I can. You absolutely need multicolor printing. I didn't do it for years, and once I started doing it, I was just like, it just adds a whole nother dimension to 3D printing. And especially if you like 3D printing artwork and such, now that I'm doing multicolor 3D printing, printing, I don't like single color printing. Next, what I want to do is show you guys how fast I can change the filament with this multicolor system. So step number one, what I want to do here is I'm just going to twist this color off here, push the button, twist it and remove this filament, take it off. And then for the new one, all I have to do is find the end here and then pop it on this, the reel holder here. And then I'm going to feed this into the inside here. This is the hardest part, kind of finding that hole. No funny jokes there. And then all I do is twist it. And now the filament is self feeding itself into the machine and it's ready to go. I think this is a huge deal especially when we look at some of the competitor machines when loading filament. A lot of times I have to spend up to a minute changing colors on a machine, whereas this is just like wham, bam, and it's done. I think this is a huge, huge selling point that nobody's really talking about. Next, I wanna talk about pricing. I don't wanna talk about the actual price of the machine, the Bamboo Lab A1, just because it moves, it moves all the time. And people message me, they're like, hey, you said it was this and you said it was that. But guys, the Bamboo Lab might be a little bit more money than some of these budget 3D printers you can just grab on Amazon or something, but I feel like the little bit extra of money saves you just leaps amount of stress and frustration with how easy everything is and it just works like I'm gonna say that like 52 times everything works all day every day 24 7 as far as the build plate goes the amount or sizing or volume of things you can 3d printer the bamboo lab a1 is actually considered one of the larger machines yes there are larger but yes there are a lot more machines that are much smaller this is kind of like middle of the ground middle of the road so if you're kind of used to like being new to 3d printing this like it's just a, an all-around great size I started with the a1 mini which is probably probably half the size. And after owning that, this seems much larger and I have a lot less restrictions on what I can 3D print. You might be also wondering what types of filament the Bamboo Lab A1 prints. And it's about as many different types as a lot of the other printers can print. Right now I have Pet G in here. This is really common, you know, it's kind of the replacement for a more structural sound. Well, it's, it's stronger than PLA, what I'm trying to say. And the Bamboo Lab machines print other types of materials probably better than a lot of their competitors, but shh, I didn't say that. You might be also looking at some competitors on the market right now because as of lately, a lot of manufacturers are trying to copy Bamboo Lab machines and they're getting close, but I still think this is probably the best 3D printer on the market right now for the price point. I know it's easy to get distracted with new manufactured products that are just coming out, but I will say that these come with quirks and learning curves that this machine doesn't. There you have it guys, watch this before getting the Bamboo Lab A1. This is my honest review on the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. I talked about what I love about this 3D printer and I also talked about some of the cons that aren't so great about it. Let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking if you're gonna purchase one of these. If you're thinking about it, consider using my affiliate link in the description. You don't have to, but it does help support the channel and feed my family after all. And also if you guys are looking to buy filament, I'll throw links to that in the description as well. Thanks for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe you already bought the 3D printer. Maybe I'll link the setup video right here because you're going to be needing that. The Bamboo Lab A1 setup video is next right here.